Good morning, Sherry Elliker here. Time for Medical Matters on WBAL. Joining me right now is Dr. Jeffrey Lotlakar, attending physician for internal medicine with MedStar Physician Partners. Dr. Lotlakar, thank you so much for being here this morning. Yes, thank you for having me. And today we are talking about hypertension or high blood pressure. And Dr. Lotlakar, they call this the silent killer. Are there symptoms for high blood pressure? Well, interestingly, there are no symptoms usually with high blood pressure. Uh, That's why we call it the stealth disease or the silent killer. When it causes symptoms, we have another problem. The disease has progressed to actually cause what we call end organ damage. So things like heart damage or heart attack or brain damage or a brain attack or stroke Kidney damage, eye damage, those all are the symptoms. But again, the important thing to realize is there are often no symptoms with high blood pressure. How common is this disease? About one in three people have high blood pressure, according to the American Heart Association. Uh, About 20% of people don't even realize they have it. And uh, about 70% of people are receiving treatment. And only about 50% of those people are actually adequately controlled to guidelines uh, that are uh, established for blood pressure control. Who's most at risk for this? Since it's so common, it seems like everybody probably has some lifestyle issues that could attribute or you could attribute to this high blood pressure uh, problem. But who's really at risk here? Uh, People who are overweight are at risk. So if your body mass index is over 25, that's a ratio of height to weight, uh, we get concerned. Uh, If you're over age 40, a smoker, uh, or especially if you have a family history of high blood pressure, those all will put you at risk for developing high blood pressure. And what can be done to treat it? There are many different treatments uh, to treat high blood pressure. Uh, Lifestyle is very important. A healthier diet low sodium, low fat, lower calories. Uh, Exercise is very important. Walking, uh, bike riding, swimming. And then uh, in combination, sometimes medications are recommended uh, to treat the high blood pressure. And if you're going to the doctor and you're, you're concerned about this, what are the best questions to ask him or her? I think the number one thing you have to ask is, what is my blood pressure? We classify blood pressure as normal, prehypertensive, uh, stage one, and stage two. So, uh, number one, you have to ask, what is it? Uh, you should also ask, what should your weight be? I think uh, we always talk about uh, exercise, diet, uh, and uh, I think a lot of us are busy and have trouble working that into our, our, our day. Uh, but really, it, it, the key is also being aware of your weight and how that's going to impact uh, your blood pressure. And a lot of people get confused about the two numbers. There are two numbers when your blood pressure is given. Can you explain what what, what those numbers mean? The two numbers you're speaking of are the systolic, or the top number, uh, and the diastolic is the bottom number. So typically we would say something like 120 over 80, so systolic of 120, diastolic of 80, Uh, The top number is the pressure or the force uh, the blood is exerting on the vessels during a heartbeat. And the bottom number, the diastolic, is the uh, pressure between heartbeats. And what is the optimum number that that we're trying to get here? We aim for a blood pressure of less than 120 over 80. Uh, Certainly, we want your blood pressure 140 over 90 or less. Uh, and in between is the zone we call prehypertensive, or the old term was borderline, but uh, we now call it prehypertensive in between those numbers. And so if the doctor tells you that your blood pressure is uh, slightly higher, is it time for medication? I think if your blood pressure is 140 over 90 or higher, uh, you certainly should be giving strong consideration to medication. Uh, But I think the number one thing is having a discussion with your physician, your personal physician, on uh, the benefits of medicine, or do you have the option to try some lifestyle, uh, try some diet and exercise changes, uh, and then follow up in a few months and see if that's impacting your blood pressure in a good way, or if you can continue with uh, lifestyle modification. Dr. Jeffrey Lotlakar, thank you so much for being on Medical Matters this morning. It was a pleasure to talk to you.
Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. To learn more about high blood pressure or for a physician referral to MedStar Physician Partners, call 877-MPP-DOCS. That's Medical Matters on WBAL. I'm Sherry Elliker. It's 11 o'clock.